Well, it's a beautiful Friday here in Tennessee. I think we're back in winter today. Usually we go through several seasons during the week, <clears throat> but right now we're in winter. So I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about temptation. You know, especially if you're in recovery, especially early recovery, when you are tempted by certain things, and you will be at some point, uh, we kind of equate being tempted with still being who we were. Uh, just having those thoughts, those cravings, those feelings, uh, we feel that, well, something's not right with me. But temptations are normal. They're, they're a part of life, whether you're in recovery from substance abuse or, or something else. Uh, and it's very unrealistic <laughs> and self-defeating to think that we're somehow gonna reach a point to where we don't have any temptations come our way. And we can be tempted by the enemy, which is the devil. We can be tempted by his devices and things that he will throw our way. But more often than not, and this is a hard pill to swallow, uh, those are our own fault, our own desires that we have followed. If you look at the book of James, and this is in the first chapter, it starts out, I'm sitting on a stability ball, so that's why I'm, I'm moving back and forth. Uh, we, if you look at, we'll start at verse 12. It says, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, when he is tried, not if or he possibly could be, but it says when, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say that when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. And as I said earlier, we can have temptations that are uh, a direct result of the enemy or some of his devices. But more often than not, it's our own lust that are driving us that we are giving, that we're giving place to in our lives that places us in a position to be tempted. There's a phrase uh, that is in Alcoholics Anonymous where it, it says that our problems are basically of our own making. We have different circumstances in our lives, different things that happen to us that other people have done to us and they, they are wrong and we are legitimately a, a victim of those things. But there are most, of, most of the situations that we find ourselves in are the direct results of decisions that we have made, actions that we have taken, whether those are legal repercussions or relational repercussions that, uh, and consequences that happen from those things. They're the result of what we have chosen to do. And when those temptations come and we follow them and we give in to them, and they cause problems, they cause pain, they cause um, the things to go, to, to go south in our, in our lives, what we tend, have a tendency to do is then to kick the blame of those things back up to God. God, you should have stopped me. You should have intervened. Uh, I was praying about this, you know, I, I didn't actually remove myself from the situation, but you, you should have come in and done something. You know, I've read how you parted seas and sent hailstones and something, you know, you can't just move this person out of my life. But if you look at this, and this is in 1 Corinthians, it's in 10, 13, it says, you know, that there is no temptation taking you, uh, there hath no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you're able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. God always makes a way of escape. Now that way of escape may not be comfortable. It may be having to remove yourself from the situation or uh, from the presence of certain people, but God always provides a way to escape. The problem is we don't take it. We don't take it. We want him to physically extricate us or just pull us right out by the shoulders. And that's not always the way it's gonna work. He gives you the opportunity. He gives you the escape. Uh, the, the window open in the burning house. And it is our responsibility to take that way because if not, then we're left to the temptation and the death, the, the sin that comes from that. And sin always brings forth death, death of, death of our, our spiritual health, our emotional health, and eventually even our physical body. 
Uh, so, uh, like I said, that's some some kind of a little bit of a hard pill to swallow that situations we find ourselves in are basically of our own making. But I want you to know that God is faithful to provide us a way to escape when we're in those temptations. But it is our responsibility to take them. All right.